So today we're going to be changing out the glow plugs on our F450 here. And I'm going to be doing it through the fender wells. But when you get up inside of here, ours have been involved in a wreck and we just got it a few days ago. It looks like it's missing the piece that goes here and maybe I'll see that it's not whenever we get through. But we're going to take this piece here off, which got a bolt over there. There's a bolt that's kind of right there. And then there's a few little bolts up along the way as well. Looks like at one time it should have had the uh, pieces you just kind of push up in there, but they're missing on most of the spots. So your vehicle might have some things that this one doesn't have. So we'll go ahead and take this piece off and get started. So mine does still have the piece on it. And you can see, I have to keep it down here where the phone won't block it. Turn that to the left, I'm pretty sure to undo it. And there's another one that's over here. So undo those two and we're gonna be trying to get that piece of material off and then we'll have access to where the glow plugs are. So that piece was in there really tight because of this hose right here. Kinda had to pull back just a little bit, but got it out. So you can see, that's going to be one of our glow plugs, and you can kind of see each individual one. So next thing we're going to do is get the uh, seal off, and I'm going to try to just pry it loose with a pair of uh, angle cutters and see what we can do. So once we get that out, we'll get the breaker in there and get these out and switched out. So here's an old one beside a new one. Just got this one out. Uh, eight millimeter socket. And I had a little one of these little grabby tool things that I put down at the end and it helped to get it out really well. But honestly, it doesn't look terrible. But I'm still going to go ahead and change them out anyway to play it safe. I mean, you can tell it's definitely gotten super hot. But we'll just play it safe and switch them out. But this side actually looked surprisingly good. But I am going to show you guys something that kind of concerns me. Looks like a crack back here. I can get the phone down low enough not to get the shadow. But right here, nothing leaking out of it, but it definitely is cracked. So I have to figure out what to do on that. Not real easy. I just used the one extension, eight millimeter socket, and a small quarter inch socket wrench. And then I used the uh, little grabber thing to get them out. And the screwdriver ended up working the best to get the boot off. And then torqued it down to 14 on each one. And uh, ready to go on the other driver's side. It's going to be the same thing. Got a bolt up there. And this end one there and there. But bolt down there. And then the same ones that are going on the fender well here. So we'll take that off and it looks like there's another annoying piece that's back there. All right, now that we got that part off, same thing here. We've got our little plastic clip there. And I'm assured there's one probably somewhere over on this side. Let's see if I can get a light in any way back there. But I'll let you guys know. The steering linkage here, it looks like these might be a little bit more difficult. But you can see the back one right here one before it there and then haven't been up the other side but over on this side will be the other two so we're gonna try that same technique of uh, basically using the screwdriver to put a little bit of pressure to pry that off and let's see if I can get these out Ended up turning the uh, wheels all the way to the right to give me a little bit more room to get in here first two came out pretty easy Wanted to get you guys a shot. Sorry, my head is very bent right now. Get you guys a shot of this one. So, this is our third one. And you can kind of see it right there. I'm going to pop it loose. And then I'm going to try to turn the wheel all the way the other way to get the one all the way in the front loose. Try to get you guys a shot from the front. So, this is going to be the very first one. You can see the green coming out of it. And I was able to get to it um, from the front with the wheel turned all the way to the left. Get my head out of here. You can kind of see the view. But 
once I get that one out, they'll all be changed. And honestly, unless this one is just absolutely terrible, this is so much easier than having to remove the uh, half the top of the engine and take the valve covers off to get to it. So pretty happy that they redid it this way. So we are done. That last one was pretty terrible, but still not as bad as having to take the valve covers off and everything else. So here are the eight. You can tell they've definitely been used. But the reason I changed these is mine ended up being in very early 2011. So it was made in 2010. So it definitely fell in that code of or that time period of where these were breaking off and supposedly causing damage to the cylinders. So I just kind of wanted to see how weak these things were. So I'm going to tap it pretty hard. Not bending or anything. So, to be honest with you, not really sure if you have to replace these. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that some of them might be more defective than others, but they all look pretty strong on the tips. And I just wanted to play it safe, switch them out. That way there's no chance of one of them going through the cylinder and destroying the whole engine because you have to replace the whole block and uh, it's pretty much cheaper that way. And then me think, crap, I could have spent 200 and whatever dollars and fixed that and not had to do it. So they're fixed now, they're all replaced and if it happens now, I'll think the other way I guess. But at least now I know I've done everything I can. So there is a little white marking that's on these that lets you know they are the earlier year. I think the other ones are orange. So uh, make sure if you do replace them that you do replace them with the ones of the same, the white tip, because these are a little bit longer than the new ones are not. So uh, ZD17. And uh, all of these looked used, even though I bought them from AutoZone.com. I mean, not the glow plugs, but the boxes looked used. They had uh, just fingerprints, things on it. And these had the exact same model number. I don't know if you can see it, but the FU24A had the same model number as the ones that I put in there. So they are the exact same glow plugs, so you're kind of replacing the same thing. <laughs> with the same thing so I guess after another hundred thousand miles it might break off and from what I heard the majority of the problems they had were in the chassis body styles to where it was basically just the frame going to the back so maybe I'll have good luck uh, but wasn't as bad as I thought it would be I mean honestly this side I finished in about 25 minutes and then the other side it took a little longer it was about probably 45 but a lot better than having to tear everything else apart in the engine bay but thanks a lot. You guys have a great day.